Some hippie touches my girl, I'm going dummy on him. Uh, you can't possess a woman, dude. You're a girl? Mm-mm. I actually have a funny story about that. About what? Are we rolling, by the way? I'm, I'm always confused when it counts down. I'm like, is it rolling or are we? Oh, it's just, oh, yeah. Uh, go on about. Well, I don't even know. Well, no, go ahead. Start. Let's start the show. <clears throat> Folks, if you just missed it, we just watched the scene <laughs> in Forrest Gump, Gump where Jenny gets slapped and then Forrest tackles him, beats up the guy. <clears throat> right. And I made a joke. If some hippie touches my girl, I'll, uh, you know. Hit the hippie? Yeah, hit the hippie. Yeah. <laughs> and you said what? You can't possess a woman. Right. But so this weekend, it was super hot. Went to went to the beach. And um, it was so crowded. Couldn't find parking anywhere. We had to park in a metered uh, metered spot. Mm-hmm. And I was walking back. And you know those weird places in Venice where it's kind of like, it's not really a street. It's just like an alley, but it's kind of a street. Yeah. So I'm walking down that. And you could see one of the houses is having a party. And it's like they got the 29th birthday balloons. And then... I walk a couple more blocks and coming down the alley, there's two girls. And I thought I heard like, leave us alone, but I couldn't tell if they were joking or whatever. And there was a guy behind him. And so I stopped and I said, are you guys okay? And I figured they would be like, yeah, he's just whatever. And she went, no. And I was like, oh man, I'm going get my ass kicked. <laughs> and so I was, I just kind of looked at him and I was like, what's the problem? And he kept being very, he's like, oh, oh are they yours? And I was like, I don't want to say yes. I was just trying to get him to, so I was like, no, they're nobody's. And he kept being like, are they yours? And I feel like if I would just say yes, he would have been like, oh, then like, we're all good. Sure. But I just kept being like, no, they're nobody's. You were trying to educate him, but also deescalate the situation. Yeah. Not an enviable position. And I was like, would it just be better to be like, yes, fuck off. Yeah. Yes, these are mine. Now leave, sir. I once did this a similar thing in Venice Beach. I was baby I was house sitting for my friend Jill. She had whoa, excuse me, sir. She had a an apartment right on the strand there and it was 2014, 2013 or 2014 and uh, I was smoking pot with a friend of mine who came over in the apartment. It was like 10 or 11 p.m. and I hear this girl screaming in the alleyway there. Jesus. And I look out the window and you can see the whole alleyway and it was it was a group of younger people probably my age at the time I think I was 24 25 and there clearly they had come from a bar they were all a little fucked up but there was a guy like yelling one of the guys in the group was yelling at this girl and it was escalating and none of them were really doing anything and I had this I don't know what it was I had this shot of adrenaline and I had my shirt off Yes, dude. And I'd been working out at the time, and oh, I, yes. I felt pretty big. And I put on... Yeah, That's sick. And I put on the boots that I had without any uh, socks on, and I, I just, without thinking, I ran out there, and I was just on fire. Hell yes. I'm fucking on fire over here. And I, I got down there, and the only thing I could think to do was, okay, well, I got to be like an animal and, and appear bigger and sound right. a it's lot bigger. It's like when bigger. you see a bear. Yeah, and I just yelled, oh. like it was, and it echoed in the uh, in the thing. And I remember doing that thing with my shoulders where you make like your, oh yeah, you like, <laughs> yeah. got your like hocks up. Yeah, and I just came up, and as I came up, I in my head I'm like, oh god, please don't challenge me, please, yeah. please. <laughs> and the guy just looked at me, and he was drunk and a little bit shorter than me. And probably my age. And he had on glasses, so I was like, all right, this guy's not. And at the time, I still wasn't fully wearing my glasses nice. all the time, so I didn't have mine on. So glasses guy. Def- if you had your glasses on, he would have kicked your ass. He, Oh, yeah. He, he looked at me, and he was like, Ooh, she did it. And I said, shut up. <laughs> you went you went full fucking Jim Cramer on it. I went, I I was like, I, and then immediately I was like, oh, I got this situation under under luck. And I said to her, I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, he's he's being, you know, a shit. And I said, you need to get the fuck out of here, man. Just and He st- started babbling, and I said, no, shut up. Lee, walk away. Walk away. 
She was like, that's my brother. It just was, it was just stupid. We were all stupid. That's- and then, uh, yeah, I went back into the uh, apartment and they had scattered. She got into like an Uber. He fucked off somewhere. See? Brittany, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry. That's better than mine because mine ended with me. Um, <clears throat> the guy just had me on the ground. My face was on the pavement. And I was like, girls, get out of here. <laughs> Please go. <laughs> I don't know how long I can hold him off. And he's just hitting my head into the face. But he was a hippie? No, no, no. Just a sketchy dude. And he also didn't do that. I just had to walk them to the park because he wouldn't yeah. fuck off. Yeah.